Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm happy to see you. Me and too. Everybody, in, in Thank, all, everybody. Thank you. Okay, say bye bye. Go, 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 go inside. <laughs> I have a visitor here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bye bye. See you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> It's because he was he was here like preparing everything with me and it's like oh you started and he leaves <laughs> yes well welcome to your Wednesday right the middle of our week I hope everything was fine during your day at your work and in all the different activities that you have for your day hello Dianita hello Jose Mr. Manuel Cristia and all the other ones that are going to connect in a moment. We are very glad to have the chance to be here again. Okay, let me just... Okay, we are going to... We are going to change the background today. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like this one. It looks different. It's... No, I don't like it. Let's go in the normal neutral colors. Okay, so today we are going to talk a little bit about logistics. We have a lot of speaking practice as well. And we are going to be creating um, a little campaign for the seven R's. Yesterday we developed them in detail. Today we are going to develop them in progress, right? We are going to work specifically with the things related to that. We're going to work in the manual as well. And I hope you have had the chance to work in the platform. Have you had the opportunity to enter to the platform? No? Remember okay. today is Wednesday. <laughs> Before Friday, you should be ready. So don't stand on the fence okay remember to work on it don't leave it for the last minute yes because later on you are very stressed out there expression yes <laughs> yeah an idiomatic expression don't be standing on the really, fence today i i called it to to review the the examples and and the the topic i i did yesterday Ah, okay. The, the 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 homework. Okay, you did your homework yesterday, but remember to check every day, right? If you have the opportunity to check, if you have the opportunity to advance, I mean, enter and do it. If not, if you have the chance tomorrow, try to do it, try to enter, and complete it. Tomorrow as well, we're going to check it out at night. We are going to check it everything. So you should be ready with that for um, for Friday morning, okay? Because remember that the platform closes at midnight on Friday, but it is not, uh, it doesn't mean that at midnight you are going to be working, right? No, right? The idea of this is that possible, for sure. Teacher. At midnight? Mm -mm. Yeah, at midnight is not no. really possible, no. But no. the idea is that you complete everything before right, that you complete everything beforehand. And so you are going to be done with that for Friday. Well, so let's start the day. Today is our session number eight. We are going to be working a little bit on, on talking. We are also going to work in groups. We are going to talk about logistics, but we are going to start with our class of the day. Okay, so remember our agreements of the class. Miss Cristia, can you help me to read the first five agreements and then Mr. Manuel, the next ones, please. Okay, the first one, practice your English as much as, much as possible. Two, ask for help when needed. Three, keep your cameras on all the time. Four, keep microphones off if we are not using them. And five, attend all your sessions on time. Very good. Mr. Manuel? Uh, 
Number six. Sorry. Number six. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Work on the platform every day. Work on the platform every single day. Thank you very much, my dear students. Thank you very much for sharing and also for reading the agreements of our class. Welcome to the rest of the students that are joining. Thank you for being here, Mr. Jose, Vilma, Silvia, welcome. Today, as I told you a little bit, we're going to talk about logistics and we are going to start, as we are a very few, highlights about your day. What was the best part of the day today? Think about that. What was the best part of the day? What was the best part of your day? Think about it. I don't know, maybe you ate something good, you did something that you like, you saw someone that you like, uh, you did an activity that you like. I don't know, what was the best part of your day? Okay, you, watch, did you watch a movie that you like? I don't know, Mr. Manuel? Yes, teacher, uh, today um, I had a lot, a, lot of, a lot of work and I have to, to visit my, my sister. Hey, that's cool. Hey, she, he, he lives in Nehapa. She lives in Nehapa? Yes. Oh, it was a very long trip. Yes, and I enjoy the, the ride in the motorcycle. You enjoy the ride. Hey, that's a very good thing. So that yeah. was the best part of your day, the yes. ride of the on the motorcycle. That's yes. pretty awesome. Thank you, Manuel. Miss Diana Elizabeth, what was the best part of your day? Um. I don't know <laughs> the best part of my day. I did a lot of work and I finished all of them. Oh. And I dyed my hair by myself. Hey, really? <laughs> yes. What and color did you use? Let me see. Brown. Ah, uh, okay. Brown, yes, good. But it was something that I wanted to do a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, that's pretty nice. So you dyed uh, all, all along yourself. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Nice. It's it's a very nice experience because you don't know the result, <laughs> but you expect for the best, right? <laughs> yes, correct. Hey, that's very nice. So the best part of your day that you did something that you were planning to do for many days, dyeing your hair. Very nice. Let's see, Mr. Danny. What was really the best part of the day? Hi. Uh, my highlight part was this day is finish my homework, the work, and have the class, the English, in the uh -huh. mind. <laughs> it's the best part. Yes. This is not the motion. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me see, let me see. I need, I need to find it. A star for you, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that I, I fantastic am teacher in the class in the night uh, hey, for the learner is the uh, uh, night. Yeah, to to learn more. Hey, I feel I feel motivated that you tell me that that is the best part of your day. It makes my work a lot much worse. That's pretty awesome. I love working, but that makes me that motivates me more. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay, Dan. Okay. What about Miss Christian Natalie? What was the best part of your day? Um, I think I think today I don't have any good things because uh, yesterday uh, what, uh, the grandmother of my boyfriend died there. I don't she know. Pa she passed away, right? It, it, that is like <laughs> the, the, the best way to say it, right? She died. Like, no, right? She, she, she passed away. She passed away. She passed away. So today, uh, for me and for all the family of him, it uh, was very tired day. And, and only that. 
Yeah, it was yeah. it was tiring and, and and for sure I imagine it was it was very emotional. Yeah. It was a very emotive day, but you know, I, I always say that when you lose someone, it makes you um analyze the value of every day. Yeah. Because I mean every day it's an opportunity. I mean, as soon as you wake up and you have another chance to to leave, it's like it's another starting. It's like if you are restarting your life every single day. And uh, when when you lose someone, I know it's very hard, but it makes you uh, to see how valuable every single day mm -hmm. is. And yeah. that's why I always say, never go to bed angry with anybody because you never know if the other person is not going to wake up the next day and you are going to say like, yeah, yeah, peleamos. oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it is. It's a, it's a hard thing, but at the same time, it it helps you to to value a lot every day. So we feel very sorry about your lost and well, your boyfriend's lost, but um, Thank you. they are they are in a in a very good place now. Yes. Very Thank very you, Christian, for sharing that. Thank you very much, uh, Rocío Veronica. What was the highlight of your day? <laughs> and good evening well i think the the best part of my day was when i went to sleep after <laughs> my homework my, my after my 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 home office day and because i'm working at home and, and well i had a, a headache so i went to a sleep and then i didn't have it so i think this is the best part hey that's and pretty then, awesome and then, yeah and then i had uh, a dinner my dinner and that's make made me feel happy <laughs> hey that's pretty nice food always makes yeah. us feel happy <laughs> Yeah, exactly. In, in, very good. So, Rocio, how is COVID going? Good. Uh, you look uh, very yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel good. I feel better. Okay. Um, more than the 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 few first days. days. Ago. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Rocio. I. It is fantastic when you have a headache. When you have a headache, and then when you go to sleep, and then you wake up and you don't have it anymore, and it's like, ah, yeah, nice. <laughs> Yeah, but you, when you wake up with headache, it's like, gosh, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not that nice. And let me see, I am going to ask Mr. Jose Carlos, how was your day? What was the best part of it? Well, good evening, guys. Hi. The first part of my day was when I arrived at home and my daddy was invited me to watch a movie called Vivo. That was hey. so funny. So right fun. that's pretty it's a very beautiful movie yeah 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 it was so funny i like it okay so that was your highlight you see it's, yes. there is always something nice in the day right to watch a movie that's pretty yeah. cool mr nelson what was the best part of your day good evening hi <clears throat> hello and my day is was very very busy uh, I visit Music Line and Made in Deliver of the Product. Uh, Made the May is a report. Okay. So you May made you busy. made you made reports, you made deliveries, and for sure yes. you worked, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, Nelson, thank you very much. And last but not least, I am going to ask Miss Carolina. Tell us about your day. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Um, in my case, um, well, well, my sign yesterday with a few uh, health days. Um, a neck pain plus uh, my back pain. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, but from there, everything's normal in my work in home. Okay, so you were you were at home, you were working. So yesterday we were missing you yeah, a lot. We were like, hey, Cara is not here. <laughs> we were missing you a lot, but 
Thank God you are here today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carita. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay, my dear class. I uh, really appreciate it. I love to see Vilma. Very comfortable. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good thing. I love that you feel comfortable in my class. That's very nice. I, I have a headache. Ah, oh, my God. Do you, do you have some tea there? It works a lot. Uh, I have migraine. Oh, you have migraine? Ash, ash, ash. Yesterday, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, oh my God. So I think you should you should drink uh, some tea and a couple of acetaminophen or something stronger. <laughs> because for, yeah, diclofenac. Because the other the other medicine that I can recommend are going to make you fall asleep in a second, <laughs> and you will be in class but <laughs> all passed out. Okay, so um, we hope you feel better through the class. Thank you. Well, my dear class, we are going to go over the attendance for today. Well, I am going to ask. Uh, remember, I am going to call your name. And as soon as you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let's mm -hmm. go with Carolina Yamilet. Present teacher. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jorge Humberto. Mr. Jorge, he has an A. Mr. Jorge has an enter and he's, la boca. and he's always very early. Let's go with Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Olga Marlene. Olguita. Y Olguita Jacenca. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar Francisco. Present. And Danny Anthony. Present. Thank you very much. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present. Very good. <laughs> Let me see. I am going to change it here. Very good. Miguel Angel. And who else entered when I was calling the attendance? I think it was just Miguel. Well, let's go back in business. Let's go back to the business here. Okay. So yesterday we were talking about the seven R's and you were discussing and developing each of them. So yesterday with the examples, with the interaction that we had, with the definitions that you share, and also with the examples that you provided, most of the seven R's uh, end up being very clear with the, with the definition and everything that we were working on, right? Right now, we are going to work in a little activity that it's called read, think, and share, right? Read, think, and share. And I am going to give you, let me see, here, 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 oh, I went down, sorry, it's right here. I have here four different questions. I have four different questions. And it says, the first question that I have here, right? remember that yesterday we were working on these expressions of uncertainty, right? We were working on these expressions, like I am of two minds about this. I am not 100% sure about it. There, there is some doubt in my mouth about, I am not sure about, there is something fishy, I am on the fence, I am up in the air on this, I need to have second thoughts, I need to do it in cold feet, right? I want to sleep on it, and for sure, 
to put some fillers out. We were using these ones yesterday and these ones you are going to use them soon in a conversation that we are going to create. But now I have here these four questions and I am going to ask Mr. Miguel, can you help me to read question number one? Okay. Will my you be living in five years? Where might you be living in five years? Question number two. It's going to be for uh, Tatiana. Can you read question number two? Uh, what are two things that could make you much happier? What are two things that could make you much happier? The next one, Danny Anthony. Can you read number three? What are some goals you might accomplish in the future? What are some goals you might accomplish in the future? And Jose Carlos, read the last one. Is there anything you can do even, even though you want to? Okay, is there anything is there you any can't do even though you want to? It's like, hay algo que no puedes hacer aun cuando quieres hacerlo. Yeah, sometimes. And, yes. uh, and I need you to think about it, right? For example, uh, in my answer for number four is riding bicycles. I can't do it. I, I would like to do it, but I can't because I cannot ride a bike. <laughs> so <laughs> that is something that I can't do, even though I really want to do it. So I need you to analyze these four questions for you right, for your life. Where might you be living in five years? What are two things that could make you much happier? What are some goals you might accomplish in the future? Accomplish, what is the meaning of accomplish? Lograr. Lograr, right? What are some goals that you might accomplish in the future? And the last one, is there anything you can't do even though you want to? I need you to write some notes, okay? Brainstorm a little bit on your notebook. Brainstorm a little bit. Do you know what's the meaning of brainstorm, right? To write some ideas on, on your notebook. For questions number one, two, three, and four. Because you are going to use your ideas, because you are going to share. So where might you be living in five years? I don't know if you plan to continue living in the same place that you are living right now, in a different city, in a different country, in a different uh, department, in a different, I don't know, in a different place. Mm, or it's if, a neighbor. In a different neighbor, you never know, right? Imagine that you live right now in Hollywood neighborhood and you're going to go to Costa Rica neighborhood. <laughs> there are two... <laughs> Well, in Santa Ana, there is one that it's called California. And you say, like, where do you live? In California. Oh, really? Yes, the neighborhood. <laughs> Teacher, or, yes? I, I, I live in Las Vegas. <laughs> in the neighborhood. Yeah, yes, for sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what an international group of people I have. Yeah, they say that. But also in Santa Ana, well, where is Silvia? And Silvia, you might know. Uh, in Santa Ana, there is one that it's called Patas Heladas. <laughs> yes. Oh, Silvia, didn't you know? Yeah. In Santa Ana, there is a canton. It's the name of a canton. It's called Patas Heladas. Mm -hmm. And it's like, where do you live in Patas Heladas? <laughs> And also there is San Juan Arriba and San Juan Abajo. Yeah, Los Naranjos, right? <laughs> no, that is in Metapan. Los Naranjos also, there is a place ah, called... Ah, Los Naranjos San Juan also. San Juan Abajo. There, is, there is another one, it's true. So, you never know. Maybe right now you are here in, in what? In Cinco de Noviembre and next five years you're going to be at, no, in Las Vegas. <laughs> Close to me. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> next to you. There you go. What are two things that could make you much happier? Dollars, you're going to say. 
I don't know if you plan to have a better position at your job, if you want to do something different in your life, if you want to get married, if you want to buy a car, that is something that could make you much happier. What are some goals you might accomplish in the future? To finish my English Corporativo program in advance too. You are very close to that. Is there anything you can do even though you want to? Okay. Do you have your notes about your questions? ¿Ya, le, ya tienen sus notas de las respuestas? Yes? No yet. No yet, okay. Think about it while I create the sessions for discussion. And here we go. Okay, I am going to create the sessions for, uh, for us to work and discuss. And I am going to have mini groups of five. Okay. Let's see. You have the option. And let's go to the rooms, okay? Okay. <clears throat> ¿Les salió el mensaje en sus pantallas, chicos? ¿No? No, no teacher. Okay. No, teacher, no yet. Okay, so oh. I am going to send it back. Here we go. Now you have it. I only have four rooms today. And now it's done, okay? Go and discuss your answers with your group. Great, I am missing only Christia. Have you received the invitation for the room? Okay, in this activity, students are going to have the opportunity to practice free speaking and also to practice the English that they have already. I really like this part of the class because they can have this interaction among themselves. And for sure, they can also have the, um, the moment for them to express and practice their English with others. As they don't have a lot of time to do it by themselves or at their jobs, it is a very good opportunity for them to practice. We are going to go and check on the different rooms. How are they developing the answers of these questions that I present? Let's go and check. Uh, sisters or brothers? Brothers. Uh, brothers, okay. Sounds good. In my case, I might like, I might live in my own house and in El Salvador <laughs> there. 
Uh, because my grandmother passed away the last year and she gave me her house. So, oh. but right now my, my dad is living there, but I hope to live there in five years. Okay. Uh, what about you, Linda? Uh, well, in my case, I, I hope <laughs> uh, change my neighborhood. I would like uh, living in a in a in a house bigger in a bigger house because this house is small, it's, it's pequeñita, and <laughs> a different in, neighborhood, in a, so. more more safety and you know. <laughs> different in five years that's pretty nice okay. just to live in a different neighborhood in a bigger house when you think of having a bigger house the only problem is cleaning right that you have to clean more but it's better because you will feel comfortable yeah. <laughs> yes i need i need more space more space that's pretty awesome continue discussing the following questions and i will come back in a moment okay Okay. It's, it's very difficult. If mm -hmm. not, I drive for one hour a quarter. Uh, mm -hmm. But yes, <laughs> me too. I, 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 I live in Santa <laughs> It's a, four, it's a <laughs> okay. five minutes for my wife. <laughs> oh, see. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, live, you live five minutes from your work. Uh, if I no 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 right now no it's so hard. no <laughs> ah okay and I was like hey, how nice no. <laughs> if, if, minute, if I mean by mean if she lives ah if she uh, lives in, in, yeah. in Santa Elena uh -huh. for the next five years oh yeah. in five years <laughs> you, you plan you plan to live in Santa Elena yeah. Uh -huh. It is a it's a great place. I think you have a lot of things around. Oh, yes. A bit expensive mm -hmm. though, but a, a, yeah. a, a bit expensive. <laughs> that yeah. that teacher is included for two <laughs> <You know? It's> <laughs> The teacher lives in Santa Elena, they say. <laughs> Maybe. I yes live or not. The, I live only, only in the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it. I love it and I will love to live there. But no, I live here in the center of San Salvador. Okay. Uh, it's, near, yeah. it's near to Santa Elena? Near to Santa Elena neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Marlene, I... Marlene and me are going, we are going to be uh, neighbor. neighbors in Santa Elena, in Montelena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So where, where do you live right now, Mr. Juan? I live in Zacatecoluca. In Zacatecoluca, in Marlene? In Lopango. In Nelson? Uh, city Popa. In Apopa, you see? Yes. I, I live here. The near, best city. Near, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live near Cinco de Noviembre. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> we are like very far from each other. So, but uh, yeah, I plan to have like to change. the. House. I really like the neighborhood. It's very beautiful and calm and, and all that. But it is kind of far from my yeah. job. Okay. In Continue. The future, I... uh -huh. oh, no, no. Yeah, in the future yeah. we're going to be in in the same neighborhood in Santa Cruz. <laughs> well, maybe I live in, in the United States. Right. Yeah, well, you never know. We never know. Hopefully, right? I'm trying. Yeah. So keep keep going high and for sure you are going to make it. Uh, discuss. Today, we don't know. Yeah, we never know. Discuss the next question. I will come back in a moment. Okay. Okay. What are okay. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, I am coming hey, from Santa teacher. Elena right now. <laughs> hey, Danny, how are you? 
They say they, I was oh, in only, the... only that teacher. Only that. <laughs> no, I was I, I was live in, the... in Santa Elena. <laughs> no, I, you see, that's how gossips are created. No, I was coming from the previous group, and they say, uh, in five years we're going to be living in Santa Elena. They say, and there was one student who said, yeah, the teacher lives there, and I was like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and me existing here in the center of San Salvador. <laughs> and they were saying that they were going to move to Santa Elena in five years. And I said, like, wow, fan oh. fancy, I said. <laughs> My neighbor say that teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. Solo que yo vivo en la colonia. En la colonia Santa Elena. No, I live here near Cinco de Noviembre. <laughs> Yeah, wow. where, where everything happens here. Aquí donde está el tráfico, la despensa, todo el relajo. So, I, I am very happy. In, in the neighborhood, Escalón. <laughs> no, no, in fact, I live very near uh, la despensa terrazas. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I have a co-worker that he say, I live here where the leaves don't value anything. <laughs> <laughs> I live here where Moises lost the chunk. Well, Mr. Miguel, what question were you discussing? In my case, uh, I, uh, the first question, number first. The first, the first. The first, the first uh, I sent you the questions on the chat because I, I didn't know if you had taken note and I said, mm, I better prevent, I said. Cono uh, conozco a mi pueblo, dije, pero ellos sí toman notas, pero ellos se la van a mandar. Dije. Yes, teacher, for sure. This, this you see, I, that's why I said they always <laughs> take notes. Carito takes a lot of notes, I know. She writes everything. Teacher, the expression, por si acaso. Just in case. Just in case. Just don't say don't case. say Justin Bieber, okay? It's just in case. <laughs> just, just in case. case. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Just where in might case. you be living in five years, people? Mr. Miguel, where will you be living in five years? Uh, I will live in Peru, Los Angeles. Hey, I might be living in Peru. Hey, that's so very nice. nice country. Yes, it's a beautiful place with the llamas and all that. There, my spirit is is. It's in Peru. Yes. How beautiful! It's a very beautiful place. I have never visited, but my mother-in-law did, and she took a lot of pictures, and it's very beautiful. Yes. You need to go one day, teacher. Yes, I, I, I am going to go to visit Good Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We are going to go and visit Miguel in Peru. Let's see. Uh, Carito, what yes. are two things that could make you much happier? Um, right now, I, th I think the most important thing is my health. The health. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Staying away from COVID. Right now, the, the best thing that I can ask for is to stay away from COVID again for the fifth for the fifth time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, la, la quinta ola ya, ya no. <laughs> Estoy aparece. Oh, yeah. eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? La, la, la entrada de la playa, hombre, el, la reventazón. La reventazón. <laughs> yeah, it's Yo too much. It. Let's yeah. see. Cristia, what are some goals that you might accomplish in the future? Uh, one of my goals uh, buy the house of my dreams is to buy your dream house. Uh, is to dream. buy your dream house. What about you, Danny? What are some goals that you want to accomplish in the future? The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. <laughs> please, please, please. And that's the secret uh, of the eternal life. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what are some goals uh, that you want to accomplish in the near future? Just, just, just teacher. Uh, and my future is complete my my house. Uh, what is construction uh, for two years? 
um, but um, is finished in, in this year. In uh, um, three year is uh, I have a new car. Uh, hey, that's but, nice. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it is my plan. That's your plan to finish your house that uh, it's under construction and to buy a car. That's pretty good. Yes, yes, it's, Very nice. Uh, Continue working uh, hard for that. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, I, I learned English. And for sure you are going to learn the more you practice the more you are going to learn that's why i make okay. you speak every okay. night por eso les estoy poniendo a hablar todos los días cada noche for you to develop yes. that for you to develop that ability and mr jose it, carlos it, yes it is dream in english <laughs> you have to dream in english it is very funny when you dream in english yeah <laughs> you don't know what's going on mr jose carlos tell me is there anything you can do, even though you want to do? Hay bastantes cosas. Ya, ya, las de juventud ya no las podemos hacer ya, no, ya, ya no, casado no, no, con hijos ya no. Hay quien, ya. No, 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 no. Um, that's a difficult question for yeah, me. It is a difficult question for everybody. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, only one, Jose. Only one. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I, I cannot say because my wife is close to here. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> to, to love your wife more than the love that you have for her. Eso es lo que quiere expresar no, no, José Carlos. No, 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 it is a joke. I know. That is, that is a difficult question. Yeah. <laughs> Entre Let's broma y broma. <laughs> okay, I am going to go to the last room, so maybe you can share it here in private. <laughs> okay, my dear class, I will see you in a second. Um, Did you finish discussing? Sylvia Sherry. Almost, almost. Almost, almost. almost. Go yes. ahead. Almost. Wait a moment, please. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Go ahead. Let's continue, Sylvia. Uh, what are some goals uh, you might accomplish in the future? Um, I want to create my own air company. Um, uh, okay. The last is there anything you can do even though you want to um right now visit to my mother oh <laughs> okay this is your mother well teacher we are going to this to, to sharing not this course to sharing a different idea or different thinking about the core question <laughs> and, <laughs> Yeah, I, I left the group right now because they said like, ah, teacher, you are recording. I cannot give you the answer. <laughs> so that's why I left the group. The idea flies. No, it's because they said like, if there's something you can't do right now, even though you want to do it. What? <laughs> and he said like, but you are recording, teacher. <laughs> I don't know what, it, what it's what they want to do that they cannot do right now. And they and I told them, you no, know, all the things that we used to do when we were teenagers, we cannot do them anymore. So you are not going to be there, what, having two or three girlfriends at the same time. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> no, the ladies, it's it's always with only one boyfriend. Yeah, we never do that. <laughs> it's like, uh, yes, because, yeah. <laughs> we are very loyal, very loyal. Okay. Okay, so of course, let's... of course it is. As always, as always. <laughs> we are yeah. going to go back to the main room. Very better to have two or three jobs. <laughs> ah, jobs. <laughs> Than only one. No, I always say like, my God, it's so difficult to have one. And why do people look for two or three? My God, it's, yeah. it's a lot of work. I, I, I never, I never had... More than one. More than one. More than one job. Ah. 
Let's go back to the main session. Let's okay. go back. Okay, here we Welcome back. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much for sharing the details. Let me plug in my computer because I don't have battery. Okay, so we're back. Thank you very much for sharing your answers through the different questions that I have. And it was very interesting to listen to the different answers that you were giving in the different groups. And for sure, it is very nice that you have the opportunity to share. I am including this type of activities every day for you to actually develop that skill of speaking. I know grammar is important, vocabulary is important, reading is important, grammar is important, but also speaking, it's very necessary because in some cases you have a lot of knowledge on grammar. But when you want to share an idea, when you want to uh, build up a sentence, it is very hard. It is very hard for you to do it. And these type of mini interactions give you, give you the, the abilities for you to express a lot better at the moment of speaking English. So that's why I am including them in the classes. So yesterday, we talk about this one, right? We talk about the different expressions of uncertainty. And I was mentioning that we were going to use them. At the beginning of the week, we were, we were working on this conversation, right? Do you remember Pam and Alex? And they were discussing one specific problem to the boss. And the boss was giving them the best answer. So what we are going to do right now we are going to create a similar conversation. And I need you please to use these expressions of uncertainty as part of the conversation, okay? You are going to create a little interaction with a classmate. And what you are going to be doing is that you are going to express a problem that you have at the office and you are going to share that problem with your boss. So one of you is going to be the employee and the other one is going to be the boss. So you are going to choose what type of problem you are going to be discussing. You are going to set up the situation and for sure you are going to explain the problem to your boss. And the boss is going to give you the best solution for the problem. So we are going to do some problem solving role play with the different sentences and the different expressions of uncertainty. Okay, so the conversation is going to be about a situation at the office. The person is going to take the problem to the boss. The boss is going to give a solution and you need to use a couple of expressions of, cert of uncertainty or expressions of certainty if you want to use as well, they are welcome. Okay, so you are going to be working on this with someone, you are going to be in couples and when we come back, I am going to choose only four couples to present. So it's going to be a raffle. You never know if it's going to be your group, the ones that it's going to be presenting. So the idea is that we create a conversation, an interaction on which you present a problem and the boss is going to help you with the problem, either for a solution or uh, to see or to find a way to solve it, okay? So I have here nine groups. Let me see, yes, I have couples now. All the couples are going to be <clears throat> different. You are going to work now with a different person. You decide who is going to be the boss and who is going to be the worker, or if you want to be co-workers discussing a problem that you want to tell to your boss, it's also possible, okay? Puede ser una situación entre jefe empleado o entre dos empleados que están discutiendo si van, no van, le dicen, no le dicen al jefe, okay? 
So you decide, what are you going to do? And for sure, you decide about the problem. It has to be a problem at the place that you work. You can have one that, uh, you can have a real example there, but just don't mention the name of the office, <laughs> okay? You can have a, a real example and um, uh, you can do it. For example, I can share that, uh, well, I shared yesterday that I, that I was um, two minds about something that I had a problem with something at the academy. It was a very big thing and there was a mistake on it. And I was on the fence and I said like, ah, should I tell my boss or not? Even when I am the boss, I don't have anybody on top of me, but I mean, there is the owner of the academy, right? That it's on top of everybody. And I said like, I was on the fence and I was doubting. Should I tell him? Uh, shouldn't I? And the best thing that I had to do because of the integrity was to tell the truth. And so I went and I said, boss, this and this and this happened, but I solved it already. It's done. And he was very happy because I, I took the decision to go and tell him. And he was like, hey, Nati, I'm very glad that you solved it. And I was like, phew. <laughs> but it was a very hard thing. So discuss if you're going to be employees or boss and employee and the problem. I have the groups already, nine groups. So I am going to send you back to work. Remember a problem and a solution. Use the expressions of certainty and uncertainty, okay? Let's go in a very quick way. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see how creative students get with these conversations. They are going to put all the vocabulary we have obtained so far about uh, the, the logistics management, the seven R's. And for sure, after this, and when they come back, we are going to be discussing a little bit of the terms related to logistics. Thank you. Let's go to the rooms right now. Mr. Jason, I will send you to a room. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the problem is? The difference in inventory. Mm -hmm. is the translate uh, and the boss, I think mm -hmm. we have to call the boss my uh, the personal uh, or responsible the the teacher the bodega the warehouse 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 i got mm -hmm. this uh, discount mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's no report mm -hmm. the boss for me is 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 uh, the report, my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is um what is the, the solution for? I I I need to to for for this problem. Mm -hmm. solution. So we okay. have to we have to do something like that 
a new issue or something in your in your work? Okay, in the, in, in the like But the issue it can be, let me see, maybe for a full? Uh, <laughs> a medio mes, por ejemplo. In the middle of the month. In the middle of the month. And we are uh, at this moment uh, stop in the machines the uh, waiting the the tamis um, for uh, today um, today uh, we receive uh, an email receive received an email explaining that the tamis is arriving tomorrow. Okay. But uh, it can be uh, true or false because uh, we were waiting for, for that from seeing since Mondays. We have been waiting for that. We have been waiting we for have, that. We have been waiting for that. Since uh, Monday. Since Monday. Very good. Boo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, teacher, uh, is the blockade uh, for the shares, the, 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 the screen? The full uh -huh. There you go. Full no, but you can do it. Go ahead. Try. Uh, for the gift, the conversation in the material. Ah, to share the conversation in the material. It's just yeah. Can you can you try? Who's who's sharing? ¿Quién la va a compartir? Danny. Okay, Danny. No. But, but no. <laughs> I cannot do it. <laughs> uh, in, the, in the old fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me send you the conversation, people. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Come on. Let's see. Here, here I am going to share it. Let me see. Let me take a picture. <laughs> In this old-fashioned way, I, I, I don't really, I am not very into this old-fashioned practice. There you go. Oh. Dance teacher. Um, okay. Here I go. But, but, but not pick. There. It's in the group. The conversation is in the group. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because there I cannot see it. <laughs> Me neither. No, but it's in the in the chat. I sent it already. Okay. okay keep on working. Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. I just sent the conversation. Some of your classmates were looking for it. Uh, yes, we had the book. That's cool. Uh, open. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. Okay. What issue are you going to be discussing? Um, About their, their sales report. Okay, good. We haven't finished it yet. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The boss is They're going thinking. to come. Like, yeah, it's like uh huh, and the report that I asked you for yeah. yesterday. Oh my god, I hate those words. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, but yeah. I I really like when when he goes to me and says like Natalie, where is the report? And it's like on your email since Monday. It's like mm -hmm. ah, ah, I I haven't checked. I haven't checked. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. 
that's a bit a better feeling <laughs> yeah that's a very good feeling definitely okay develop your conversation and i will go to the last rooms go ahead okay okay big one you 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 can corregir me okay <laughs> correct Corre okay please please correct uh, Okay. Proceed, okay. Proceed. Okay. 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 Me. Proceed. Yesterday, we. Teacher, what sold do you say? Bendy. Sold. I sold. Sold. I sold. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I sold. Um, a truck. A truck is a camion. Uh, a camion. Yeah, a camion. Uh huh. camioneta. Well, depending if it is a camioneta, the camioneta, the the looks. Like, uh, that can be like a car. I mean, there is no uh -huh. nothing like a specific. A family uh -huh. car. A, a family car. Okay, a family car. Hatchback. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yesterday. I sold a family car. Oh, okay. But the client called me and, and he is a is a man. Uh -huh. And he and he told me that. For example, the he what, don't what receive. What, he didn't. What could be the problem in, in, in a car? Um, he didn't. Tomorrow, that, <laughs> the tires. Let's see. Um, it the can, windows. Ah, it can be like, for example, that you told the client that it had air conditioning, and air it doesn't have. Okay, everybody. that's the most common problem. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> he, he, and, and he told me that the AC or air condition uh -huh. uh, no don't don't work. No trabajo. Uh, didn't uh, didn't work. Didn't, didn't, didn't work. Uh, okay. Didn't work. Tell me. So they say like the client called me Please. and he told me that the AC was not working. Was not working. Uh -huh, no le estaba funcionando. Okay, that the AC was not working. We are presenting in five minutes, people. Prepare your conversation. Go ahead, I am going to go to the last group. Voy a ir al último okay. salón. Okay. Hello, With... hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. With... How was great mm -hmm. to the possible hello Silvita where who were you working with? Silvita con quien estaba? Um, with, with Vilma, creo. With Vilma. Vilma and Jose Carlos. Uh-huh. Okay, Vilma and Jose Carlos. <laughs> I am going to send you there. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Ya, Silvita, le llegó la invitación. Ok, students are going to be completing their role plays in a second. So I am going to bring them back in a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I am going to go and check if they need any extra help. Uh -huh. How is the conversation going?
Yes, yes. Hello, how is the conversation going? Um, I think it's, it's done. Mm, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> more or less. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm, I... I'm reading for the conversation. Okay. You're ready. And Omar? Ready. Yes. What is your issue? What issue are you going to be developing? About the inventory. Oh, about the inventory. Very good. Okay, so practice, please, because we are going to come back to the rooms in three minutes. Yeah, practiquenla como okay. que ya la estuviéramos haciendo ahí en, en, en la clase. Go ahead, go ahead. <coughs> okay, teacher. Ajá. Hello, teacher. Hi, did you finish the conversation? No, teacher, because... No, teacher. What happened? We can decide about the topic. <laughs> you cannot decide about the problem. Uh, let me see. And... We, start, we uh -huh. start talking about a restaurant with a problem with some special for the night, something mm -hmm. like that, but um, did you say about the, about the, we have to use the, the expressions. The expressions. So for me, that is the, that is the problem in, in this moment because I can, I can mix the, the, the expressions and the problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, remember that the expressions can be just introductory. And you can use them at the beginning of the conversation. You can say, for example, eh, you know, Nelson, I am, um, I need to think something on cold feet. I am having difficulties right now at the restaurant. I am on the fence with what to cook at night. I don't know if I should cook hamburgers or pizza. And then you start like mixing the, the, the sentences for you to introduce your sentences. So that's a good way for you to use it. La puede usar para hacer la introducción a lo que usted quiere decir. Así como, mira, tengo dudas acerca de este problema. Estoy dudando, me siento incómoda, tengo que pensarlo. And there is where you introduce the expressions. Okay. Try to build it up. Traten de darle ahí formita. Tiene que ser algo cortito, no es algo tan así, tan grande. Y de ahí pueden, Nelson, darle un consejo okay. acerca de lo, que, de lo que tienen que hacer. Así como, no, mira, mejor hablemos con el jefe, ¿verdad? a ver qué nos dice. Eso puede ser una muy buena interacción. Corta y al punto. Ok, teacher. Try, try to do it. Ya estoy escribiendo, okay. a, ver qué, a ver qué me sale. Si escriben en el chat, lo guardan porque al salir no se borra, ¿ok? Uh, es importante. No, I, I use in my notepad. Ah, ok, That's good. Good, good, good. good. Go ahead. Down charts. What's a... What's a... System problem. <laughs> ah, maybe. Problem? Technical What's problem. System problem. What's the Technical system? problem. Ah, qué problema está. Technical. Indeed, you say technical issues. Technical issues. Uh, technical issues. Yeah, problem. Okay. Problems are the ones that we suffer every day, right? Or, <laughs> or we problem. can do. Or, or, or we can say a technical mistake. You can say technical difficulties or technical issues. Technical issues. Okay. Technical mm -hmm. issues because technical mistakes, it is not that, uh, well, it is possible, but it is when you are developing the thing. It's like, ah, it was a technical mistake mm -hmm. because I was okay. doing the process, right? But when you say like, I was having technical issues, estaba teniendo problemas técnicos, you say. Okay, a technical mistake, okay, okay. it's like if you are doing the process of a technical thing and you make the mistake. There, yes, you can say technical mistakes. Go ahead, continue, continue okay. preparing. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher. You, you have not this problem in, in... In this case, 
The repeat. The repeat. Uh, I did oh. about if we can make it. Don't worry. Today uh, we will work on it with I have a second thought because I confuse it with the date and the report is for tomorrow. Oh, you're right. I'm up in the air on this. Okay. Hey, very nice conversation. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So I can see that you are ready. Yes, we okay. think. We think that we are ready. Okay. No, but I, I, I can I can listen that you are doing it in a very good way. Nice that you are that you used many expressions. Okay. There we go. Okay, we are going back to the main session in a minute. So you can practice for the okay. last time with your couple. Go ahead. Okay. 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 Yeah, ahí podemos. Uh -huh. A ver. Si gusta, lo, lo, lo. Lo voy a ordenar ahorita y, y lo practicamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Hurry up because we are about to go back. Ok. Ya nos vamos a regresar a la, a la meeting. Okay. We have okay, okay, and let me see. I am going to take number. Okay. Good. So practice, my dear class. Practice, practice. Okay, Miguel. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, the use of a mask is necessary in the company's uh, facilities. We are still in the five way of Omicron and we must follow the instruction. Uh -huh. Call the mechanic. So what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to call the mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sure, I will call. I'm going, I'm going to. I'm going to call the mechanic call. to talk with him about this. To talk with him about it. To talk with him. Hmm? Oh, yeah, to him. him. I'm yeah. going to talk. To ah, OK. Thank you. <laughs> I have my friends, the numbers right here. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> don't pick my number, don't pick my number. <laughs> no, I can be the first, the last one, please. No, I am only going to pick uh, five. Five. No, I have the ten groups here. Hey, I have. Wow. I have all the groups here, right? Okay. I have all the papers with the groups and the numbers. There you go. <laughs> and we are going to see uh, who is going to be uh, presenting. I have group number one: Jose Carlos and Vilma. 
Group number two, Marlene and Omar. Number three, Nelson and Tatiana. Number four, Juan de Dios and Linda. Number six, Claudia and Dani. Number seven, Christian and Natalie. Christian and Diana. And number eight, Manuel and Rocio. And number nine, yes. Carolina, Miguel, Olga and Marlene. Let's see which groups are going to be presenting. The first group, I only have five groups presenting. The groups that are going to present, here I have it, and it, this is real, right? This is real. The first group, it's going to be group number nine. Group number nine. <laughs> <laughs> group Qué number suerte. nine. <laughs> group number cinco, nine is Carolina, no <laughs> Carolina, Miguel, and Olga. Let's see the next group participating. The next group is chan, 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 chan. number four. Group four. That is group number four. Juan de Dios and Linda. The That's next well. one, number three. Number three. I am not going to see. Group number eight, Manuel and Rocio. <laughs> the number three, teacher. <laughs> number three, you're number three. Then oh, number four, number four, number four. Group seven, Christian and Diana. And the last oh, no. one. <laughs> Me, 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 you say, who's going to be the number five? Group one. Yeah. Group one. Jose Carlos and Vilma. Okay. <laughs> the other ones are going to be for the next activity. Good. No se emocionen que los otros cinco que no salieron sorteados, los otros cuatro que no salieron sorteados, van para la otra actividad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So let's start with group number nine. Okay. Carolina, Miguel, and Olga. Go ahead. Good night, everyone. Hello. Um, Olga, we have a problem with the client. What is the problem, Caroline? The problem is that clients don't want to uh, wear the mask when entering the office. Oh no, in this case, we talk about with our boss for a possible solution. Okay. Uh, boss, we have the problem to the client. They don't want uh, to wear a mask. What can we do? Miguel? Have a seat, your microphone. The microphone, jefe. Uh, <laughs> the mask is necessary in the permits of the company. We are still in the five way of Omicron and we must follow the instruction. Uh, please place in information uh, to all the customers. Uh, the claim that will go again the instruction. Uh, please declare that. Uh, will again the institution please give the, the mask on surveillance. Oh, so it's like, uh huh? It's like if you, if you don't wear a mask, you are going to be taken out of the building. Huh? Okay, boss, <laughs> we're going to do it. The next group. Number two, who was number two? ¿Quién fueron los segundos sorteados? Ajá. Group four. Group number four. Chan, chan, chan. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Juan de Dios en Linda. <laughs> okay. Go. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Is that uh, okay? Hello. Hello, good afternoon. We are in a phone call. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, do hello. Hello, good afternoon. 
Yes, hello, good afternoon. Do, do I have the pleasure with uh, Mr. Juan de Dios? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Okay, my name is Rosita Perez, Mr. Juan de Dios from Dollar Bank. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you too. Well, uh, Mr. Juan de Dios, uh, we have a technical issue with your account. What happened? Well, I don't know if you noticed uh, a charge on your account re recently. Not yet. Not yet. Well, uh, we made a mistake, uh, Mr. Juan de Dios, and we charge on your account uh, for a Oh, no, 20,000 $20, dollars. Sorry? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was oh, really? Well, really was my mistake, Mr. Juan de Dios. And I don't know if I need your help. I'm going to enjoy this morning. No, but they charge you. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> If this, if, if this is true, if you don't it's not my problem. Come back, come back the money. Uh, if you don't, don't come back the money, I will have to pay for it. <laughs> oh, I need help. Oh, sorry. I understand you. <laughs> uh, I'm I going to help you. Help. I, I'm going to, to go any, any place that you tell me uh, <laughs> your workplace or I don't know when okay. you have time. Okay, uh, I will be able Please, next I need your Monday help. at work. Uh, yeah, I'll be if there. You, if you want, I'm going to see all of the document that you need. Yes, I the need sign. your sign, some documents. I, I, I need, uh, I'm going to be there, Mr. Juan de Dios. I very, thanks for your, your help. I am very thankful, you say, I'm very thankful. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. welcome. Help. I'll see you next Monday. Okay, okay very good. So oh. you say like, oh no, that's fish. Oh, I am not going to give you back the money. <laughs> Thank no, you very much. Is. That's not my problem. I will be running to the ATM. Very good job. Well, Excellent. <laughs> number three. Group number three okay. is Mr. Manuel and Rocio. Go ahead. Likes, yeah. camera, and action. <laughs> hey, Rocio. I have a problem. Ring, mm. ring. <laughs> Rocio, I'm no. Mm. Person, person, Rocio, I have a problem. Mm. <laughs> no for telephone. Hey Rocio. Jefecita. Ah, el señor Rocio is the boss. Yes. 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 Yesterday yeah. I saw a family car, but the client called me and he told me the AC wasn't work. Please help me. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that because we have the guarantee from the uh, get from the mechanic. But if the client told you the problem, please call the mechanic. Okay, uh, I do it right now. But uh, I am of two minds about this about this because Hi. the problem could be different to the AC. I'm certain the problem is in the electric system, but I'm going to call the mechanic to, to talk with him. Thank you. And I will be aware about this case. Uh, right now, I love it to do more because I'm very busy, but I trust in you and I let that in your hands. Thank you, Jefecita. <laughs> you are very helpful. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Rocio is a very nice boss. I'm a She's very cool and no, relaxed. I'm, I'm, I'm efficient. 
Yeah, she's very efficient. <laughs> but you're like, that's yeah. not my process. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Uh, yeah. Thank Excellent. you. Okay. Group number four. Thank you too. We're going to go with Diana and Cristia. Hey, my internet is very slow. I think we got stuck. Doubt because I was confused with the days and the report is for tomorrow. Oh, you're right. I'm up in the air on this. And that's <laughs> quick to the point. And with the phrases and everything. <laughs> excellent, excellent interaction. Very nice ladies. Very excellent job. I really mm -hmm. liked the interaction that you had together. You had a very good flow. Very beautiful. And last but not least, I am going to go with Miss Vilma and let me see. Miss Vilma and Jose Carlos. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, boss, I need a minute. Boss, there you go. The boss is here. Es que se me hizo la jefecita. Ahí está, ahí está. Está en el break. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. She, hey, she was boss. on the break. I, I need yeah. a minute. Nice. Okay. <laughs> mm. yep. Well, there is some doubt on my mind about that. I'm not sure, but as you know, um, I always, always come on time to my job. Okay. You as you know, what do you want? Well, as you know, I always a time come to my job early, even though that you know I have to cross it all the capital and I have to make a lot of effort for it for be done. So you've been around the world. What do you want? Well, so to the point. What I'm trying to tell you is, is the next. So in my town, there is a company that is trying to open in next month. So I'm so grateful with you and your company, but I cannot stay here. So I need my liquidation or an increase from my salary. Mm. Yeah. You... It's, uh... <laughs> um, you you either so cash him it. out or then or, or or you raise the salary. Bang, uh, he ban uh, back against the wall. Uh, let me. Uh, mm, but I but I need a solution you. this month. I need a solution that month. I need an answer. Yes or yes. <laughs> Well, don't burn your bridges. Let me uh, uh, consult with the, the manager. Okay, I will be waiting for but only one month, okay? <laughs> That's okay. the teacher. Oh my god, so look, you either you either cash me out or it's like uh, or you raise my salary. So he was not giving you options. He was just telling you what he, he wanted to do because he's going to get his things and go to another Sometimes job. Sometimes you have to take the risk, teacher. <laughs> well, but that's a big risk. Well, if you have another job open and everything, go ahead and do it. But just because <laughs> I, I want to quit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, yeah. no, 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 right? So... We wish you the best on your next job because I think Vilma is going to cash you out. It's like he said, like, <laughs> don't go around the bushes, go to the point. <laughs> she said, Well, a clap for all my presenters. Very good job. Very good job. Very thanks. Excellent. So the next part of the presentations is going to be on the next ones who didn't participate in this one. Well, excellent job, my dear class. I know that. 
all the other interactions were also very creative. I was listening to many of them and they also had very good uh, conversations. So this was your time to talk and time to create. So right now we are going to move a little bit on this part of the class. And here we have different vocabulary related to logistics. What we are going to do here is that I need you to analyze the different uh, meanings and I need you to create the matching of them. So you are going to tell me which of the meanings belongs to number one, which one belongs to number two, which one belongs to number three, four, five, six, and seven. The different vocabulary that we have is the first one, logistics. The second one, supplies. Number three, procurement. Number four, distribution. Number five, maintenance. Number six, inventory management. And number seven, supply chain, right? Supply chain. These are the different uh, parts of vocabulary that we have for the day. And on the options that we have, we have the process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to customers. Number, uh, well, the next one, the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing product the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. The next one, the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. And the next one, the process of keeping something in good condition, the act of obtaining and buying goods and services, and the amount of a good service offered for sale. So right now, individually, people, individually, in your notebook, I need you to write the number of the correct option next to the meaning. Later on, I am going to give you some time for you to compare with your couple. And then I am going to give you the correct forms when we discuss back. So right now, I need you to make the matching on your notebook. Maybe say number one is... Uh, I don't know, the amount of a good or something. Say logistics. What are logistics? Find the answer. Number two, three, four, and five. The idea is that you organize the numbers here according to the answer. So if you consider, we let me share again. Sorry, my bad. If you consider, for example, that this last definition that I have here is number one. So you write number one here. If you consider that this one is number two, you write number two here. So in the end, you are going to have an order of numbers according to the different definitions that we have here. Logistics, supplies, procurement, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, and supply change match the definitions with the answers. And write down only the number, right? I need you to write the number next to each definition, okay? If you consider this definition is for number one, write number one here. Number two, three, five, depending on the one that you consider, okay? Analyze it analyze it and then we are going to compare. Okay, my dear class, remember to keep your camera on all the time. Right now I cannot see Marlene, Omar, Jose Rodrigo, Silvita, Thank you, Miguel. I cannot see Olga. And for all the rest, I can see you. Thank you, Suleyma. I can see you now. I am missing only four people that I cannot see their cameras. Rodrigo, Omar, Marlene, and Olga.
analyze your answers. I will send you to the chat because later you're going to go to compare with your couple. Después vamos a ir a comparar con la pareja con la que estaban trabajando. To see if you have similar answers. In cases like this ones, remember to start with the ones that you consider the, like the most logical ones, the ones that you know, and the other ones, you need to stop a little bit and analyze. And just for you to remember a quick commercial, Mr. Juan de Dios, you are the one for the one-on-one -on -one today. Don't forget. Tomorrow is Linda and on Friday, Manuel. Okay, we're going to go to the groups for you to uh, check with your couple. Okay, lo voy a enviar a que revisen con su pareja si están, eh, si tienen, si piensan igual acerca de los resultados y después cuando ya hayan comparado vamos a volver a eh, aclarar aquí todos los resultados y a explicarlos. Okay, let's go and check. Compare and contrast. Go ahead. Okay, I am going to stay here with... Hey, Nelson, did you receive the invitation? I am going to stay with Rosa, Silvia, and Jose Rodrigo. Nosotros somos el grupo... El grupo 10. <laughs> Okay, what uh, what options do you have? Let's see if you have the same. What do you think logistics is? What do you think supplies is? What do you think procurement is? Distribution, maintenance, inventory, and supply chain. Uh, 
I need you to analyze and compare. Silvia, what is the definition that you have for logistics? For me, is the network create among, among different company producing and distribute Distributing. Uh, distributing product. What do you think, Rosa? Do you agree with that? Or do you have a different option? Um, well, I was <laughs> doing by the, uh, for the carte. Because uh -huh. I know the main thing is the process of keeping something in good condition. Uh -huh. I was doing the to the end to the last you, one you, you are leaving that one to the last one let's okay, see yes. mr jose rodrigo for me the logistics is the coordination of operation involving many people facilities or supplies uh -huh. so what do you think is the coordination of an operating operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies? Do you think that that's the correct answer? Hey, Christia, did you left uh, Diana working? No, but Christia is here as well. Teacher, yo no sé qué pasa, pero estoy en ese grupo. Okay. <laughs> De, déjeme, déjeme, es que me sale conectada en dos dispositivos. Lo que pasa es, lo que pasa es de que no me funciona el audio de la laptop y este, me conecté el teléfono y me aparece acá. Ok, ok, I am going to send you there. You were in room 7, right? Ok, there you go. For the network created... Ok. A ver, a ver. Okay. There you go. Uh, teacher, I think that logistic is the coordination of an, operate, an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Okay, or supplies. Supplies. <laughs> okay, agree? Agree? Yes? Hable ahora o tengamos la duda para siempre. Okay, yes, indeed. Remember that the logistics in that case, the logistics, this is on page number 19. You find it in your, in your manual. Remember that uh, in the case of logistics, right? It is a process, right? It's, it is all this uh, involving of different situations that you work together on your company. So in this case, here I have it. There you go. Logistics is the coordination, right? It's the coordination of everything, right? In this case, logistics is indeed this one, right? It's the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. That is, um, that is logistics. What about supplies? What are the supplies? Process what? of supplying wood to a store. Uh -huh. Just give me one second. I need to reach three, recharge everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, let me share my screen again here. Here, here, here. Okay, so supplies. What do you think supplies are? The last one, Tisha? The last one, what is the last one? Can you read it yeah. for me? The amount of a good or service offered by, for sale 
exactly like that. So those are supplies. Your classmates are coming back so we can discuss it all together. They are coming back. And I am going to call the attendance as well. Okay, teacher. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, my dear students. I hope you had the chance to actually discuss a little bit. I have Christian in the twin. <laughs> in the yeah, it's my sister. <laughs> The, the, the evil one or the good one? Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dear students. Welcome to your session. Welcome to the class. Very good. I am going to call the attendance before we discuss and analyze the different uh, meanings. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here. Okay. Carolina Yamilet. Present. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Here. Jorge Humberto. Mr. Jorge Humberto. Hey, Jorge Humberto didn't connect today. What happened? Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. María, María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel. Present. Nelson. Present teacher. Norma. Norma Carolina. Hey, Normita. Normita, Normita. Okay, uh, Olga Marlene. Present. Thank you. Rocío Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Omar. Listen. And Danny. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go back here to what we were sharing, right? So we were sharing about the, uh, here we go. We were sharing about the logistics vocabulary and we were discussing the different options for you. What is the definition of logistics? What is the definition of logistics? The coordination of an oper operation involving many people, facility of supply. Okay, do you all agree with Carolina? Yes, teacher. Very yeah. good. Uh, yeah, yeah, they have to. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. That is the first one, right? That is logistics, because as the name suggests, logistics is the organization, right? It's coordination of everything. What about number two? What are supplies? Process of no. supplying. No. The process of supplying. The amount are... of a good or service offered by mm -hmm. the amount. Do you all agree with Rocio and Rosa? Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree, okay. right? It's the amount, the amount of a good or service offered for sale. Offered for sale. Okay, that is uh, supplies. What about mm -hmm. number three? What is procurement? The act of obtaining or buying goods and services. Uh -huh. Do you agree with Rocio? Yes, I am. Do you have a different answer? Or you didn't have that one? <laughs> Be honest. 
Ajá. Five, four, three, two. Do you agree with Rocío? Yes, teacher, yes, no teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. It is the I, I don't know why, but yes. <laughs> I, I left that one for the last one, right? It's the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. Good, very good. What about distribution? Distribution process of supply goods to a store and other business mm -hmm. businesses that sell to consumers. Uh -huh. Do you agree with Carolina? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. yes or no? Yes. 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 Apuestan ahí todo lo que tenemos que esta. Eh? Yes. Uh, no, go ahead. Definite yes. answer. Definite answer. <laughs> it's the yes. process of supplying goods to stores and other business that sell to the customers. To the consumers, sorry. And what about man maintenance? What is maintenance? The process of keeping something in good mm -hmm. condition. The process of keeping yeah. something in good conditions, right? This was very easy because it was the same answer, right? The yeah. process of keeping something in good conditions. Very good. So this is number five. This is number five. This is number five. That was very good, right? Maintenance is the process of keeping something in good condition. What about um, the inventory management? The online process. The online process of moving parts. Of moving parts. Into and, and out to of a company's location. Company location. Okay, inventory management. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, teacher, you have to be sure about what you are mentioning. Yes, it's like, <laughs> ah, casi siempre I'm tenemos, sure. tenemos esa costumbre, a que siempre que podemos estar dando la respuesta correcta, pero si alguien le dice, are you sure? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, don't know, say, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I am. Right. Yes, I'm sure. And for the last one, right, we have the supply chain, right? The supply mm -hmm. chain. It's the network recreated amongst different companies producing and distributing the product, right? Because that is for sure, as the name suggests. It's a chain, it's a process, right? It's yeah. an ongoing process, right? <clears throat> it's a process there. Okay, now uh, you are going to give me the name and the definition. You are going to say logistics is the coordination of, okay. Mr. Manuel, the first one. Logistics is, there you have the numbers in the, in the, in the board. I the, stand, yeah. the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Okay, logistics is the coordination, coordination, coordination. of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Everybody, what is logistics? The coordination of, the coordination of an operation involving or supplies. Or supplies. Okay. What are supplies, Rosa Beatriz? The amount of a good or service offered but for sale. Okay. In that case, you say supplies is or supplies are? Supplies are the amount. Mm. Uh -huh. Supply is. Supplies is, right? Supplies oh. because you are talking in general, right? Yeah. Okay. Supplies okay. is. Uh -huh. The amount of a good or service offered for sale. Very good. People, give me the definition of supplies. Supplies is. Supply is. Supply supply is, is the amount, amount of good of service offered for sale. Offered with D at the offered, end, right? Offered, 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 for offered, 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 offered for sale. Offered for sale. Offered for sale. The next one. Procurement. Procurement is. 
Procurement is obtaining tax for buying goods and services. For buying goods and services. What about distribution? Distribution is, Diana? The process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sells to customers. Very good, right? Uh, in this case, distribution is the process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers, right? Consumers. <laughs> I also sell customers. <laughs> Don't worry. So everybody, what's distribution? Distribution is the process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses to consumers. Consumers. Consumer. Very good. Consumer. What about maintenance? Nelson, what is maintenance? Maintenance is uh, the process of uh, keeping something in a good uh, condition. Okay. The process of keeping something in good condition. Something Go ahead. Read it with me. The process of keeping something in good condition. The process, the process of keeping something, something in good condition. Good condition. Good condition. Good condition. Very good. Maintenance is the process of keeping something in good condition. Maintenance. 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 Of a company location. Excellent. Very good reading. Fantastic job. Everybody, what is inventory management? The ongoing Location, right? Location. Location, no, right? Location. Location. Is it like that? Location. Location. No, it's lo <laughs> location, right? Location. location. And location. supply chain. Claudia Maria, what is the supply chain? Is the network created amongst different companies producing and distributing products. Very good. Everybody, what is the supply chain? The network created among the distributing products. Distributing products. Very good job, my dear class. So you see, we had a very interactive class today because I, I really like that you are like on the process of moving. It's like, ¿qué hago? ¿Dónde me toca? ¿Con quién trabajo? I voy, right? For you to be on the spot, on task, right? This is what we were working on today, right? We were working on uh, the logistics. Remember, as you have here, different videos, please check the videos on the manual because they help you a lot for you to get more vocabulary, for you to get more um, ideas of the process that we are studying. Here you have uh, one about Amazon uh, with the distribution center, how it works, and for sure how Amazon receives your inventory. And those are two videos that I really recommend you to watch. Place the subtitles in English. If you need to lower the uh, speed of the video, do it for you to listen and analyze in detail what they are mentioning. Ahí en YouTube tiene un engranaje el video y usted le puede bajar la velocidad o subírsela para que usted vaya analizando el inglés del video y le puede poner los subtítulos para que se vaya ayudando también. So, for tomorrow, we are going to be working, we are going to be working uh, basically on uh, this section of the book. We are going to be working on the book tomorrow and it's inbound and outbound logistics. So if you can investigate a bit about this, what it's inbound logistics and what it's outbound logistics, that will be fantastic because you are going to be using this in the class uh, tomorrow, okay? We are going to also develop the different vocabulary so for you not to be dismissing today, así como estuvieron ahora descartando uno que otro vocabulario, go and investigate. I really love when my students are very curious. 
go and investigate the different definitions, customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning, and purchasing. I know many of you know already these definitions, but it is always good that you go and check. So we are going to be working on this tomorrow, and we are going to practice a little bit on the third-party logistics provider, right? Third-party logistics provider. This is what we're going to be working on in the class for tomorrow. So my dear students, be ready for that. Have a beautiful night. I am going to stay for a moment with Juan de Dios, and I hope to see you tomorrow in your next class. It was my pleasure to serve you again. Have a good night and rest Thank a lot. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful Bye. night. Vilma, okay. ¿cómo sigue? Bye. Mejor. Ah, me fue la Vilma. Ya le voy a escribir. Bye-bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye. Bye Ari. Take care. Bye, Rocío. Hello. Bye, Manuel. Okay, Mr. Juan de Dios. Welcome to your one-on-one. -on -one. Yo les digo que aquí se afligen como que van a pasar a la oficina de dirección, vea. Así como, ay no, ¿qué me van a decir ahí? Estoy nervioso, teacher. Ay, go on. No, but you, you had been before in, in these groups, right? ¿Ya habías estado antes en estos grupos, vea? ¿En el en grupo de inglés corporativo? ¿Es tu primera vez? No, primera vez. Ah, ok. In the one-on-ones, in these sections that we have at the end, this is a moment for you to... Um, ask questions for you to ask for help, for you to ask for a specific needs that you have about the language. La idea de este momento, que nos quedamos ya solo atendiéndolas a uno por uno, es que ustedes puedan expresar diferentes necesidades que tienen con el idioma, diferentes cosas, cosas específicas como se han sentido en clase, que quieren producir más, que quieren que, que se enfoque más en la clase, o si tienen dudas específicas, el día de ayer, por ejemplo, estuve trabajando un poco ahí con, con Mr. Rodrigo, y él lo que quería era practicar lectura, entonces lo hicimos con él, y fue como bastante, bastante bueno, bastante al punto, y pues otros que me dicen que necesitan como cosas específicas, y yo ya les pregunto qué es lo que necesitan trabajar, así que vamos a hacerlo de ese lado con usted, Juan de Dios. In general, How have you felt about the classes? How do you feel in the classes? Are you understanding? Are you advancing? Do you feel worried? Do you feel, uh, I don't know, how, how do you feel? I have, been, I have been feeling uh, very well. Because, okay, that's pretty uh, nice. This is, this is my first time uh, taking class uh, with this platform. Uh -huh. Uh, I, I took class uh, five years ago in presential. Ah, presential personal, class. Uh -huh. Presential class. Uh, And it was in me, Zafor as well. No, I, I took class in Europe. European Academy. In the European Academy, okay. Yeah. And you were there for how many years or for how many months? Uh, maybe three years. Three uh, years. Three years. Uh, it was uh, taking class. I was taking class uh, on Saturday. Okay. Uh, it's very slow because I was studying my career. And the the problem for me is I haven't practiced. Mm -hmm. You haven't practiced, had the practice uh, uh -huh. for five years, and I didn't anything for improve or keep my English. Yeah, and uh, all the all the advancement that you had on the moment. Mm -hmm. It's disappeared. I always say yeah, to my yeah. students that after six months without practicing the language, then you start mm -hmm. forgetting everything. It it yeah. happens that I receive a lot of people there in the in the academy, and they say I studied English, but 10 years ago, and it's like <laughs> it's exactly. like it's like if you are starting again it's from zero. 
because all the knowledge that you have at the moment, it is not practiced and it is not completed and it is just forgotten. So you started before. Imagine you started three years before. You should be an, more than advanced now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, I mean, if Because... you had, if you had continued, to ah, yeah, yeah. You, you should yes. be very fluent because you have a lot of knowledge and I have seen that you have a lot of vocabulary, but maybe you needed this type of practice. So Juan de Dios, in I, specific. I, ha uh -huh. I have difficult to. I have uh, difficulties. To make or to find the, the words in my mind and or to to make sentence very fast or okay. uh -huh. take or, 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 or take vocabulary okay i am going to uh, take i'm going to i need share. to i do i need to remember you need to my, read my past classes you my need past, to my past classes remember remember, remember. Right? so you say i have I have difficulties. Difficult. I have difficulties. I have difficulties building up exactly sentences. I have difficulties building up sentences. It's like tengo dificultades para armar oraciones. I have difficulties building up sentences. So eh, you need to, uh, you can say here, I need to refresh refresh to refresh my knowledge okay here you have my yeah. knowledge i need to refresh my knowledge well so in a specific juan de dios what are some things that you need to do first you are telling me that you need more vocabulary what else do you need um, fluency. Fluency. You need to improve your fluency. fluency. And do you feel that the activities that I am including where you interact with others is helping you to improve your fluency? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. In general, uh, Juan de Dios, how do you feel in the classes? I mean, not talking about the, the knowledge that you had and everything, but how do you feel being part of the classes? In the way that I am uh, teaching, the content that I am sharing, how do I share it? Uh, I feel very well. Uh, uh, I am learning and I am improving uh, all of these, uh, uh, all of these. Uh, issues that I have. Good. So you're uh, learning and improving the, the, the difficulties. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I am, uh, estoy alineando, por decirlo. You say, I am, and th there is a phrase for this, I am going uh -huh. back in track. In track. I, I am, am going, going back, back in back, track. I'm going back in track. So you say am. Um. In, in some um. cases, for you not to sound so um, not native, you say I am. Or you say like am. Um, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm okay? going para evitar, back el, para I... evitar la pronunciación muy marcada de I am. I am. Si no es am. Um. Yeah. I'm going back in track. I'm going back in track. Okay, good. So, uh, Mr. Juan de Dios, something important if you want to go back to the knowledge that you had before, it's how much English you are practicing besides the classes, right? What other activities are you developing besides the class? What other besides. things are you doing? Besides is a parte de. Besides is a parte de la clase. ¿Qué otras cosas está haciendo para seguir mejorando? Or just the class right now. Just the class. <laughs> just the class. Okay. Um, the homework. The homework. The homework. The platform. Good. Are you yes, having uh, Are you having any difficulties with the platform? No. 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 Okay. I am doing. I'm doing. Uh, 
the homework every day. Yeah, that's very uh, good. The, the last Friday was difficult for me because I was traveling to Zacatecoluca. Yes. And I arrived at 11. Uh, yeah, you maybe. were you were you were coming back really late. So, uh, yes. but um, I am going to like kind of reinforce a little bit on this that if you have the opportunity to check on the videos, right? El manual tiene muchos videos, right? I always say this: check on the videos, listen to the videos, listen to the vocabulary on the videos put on the subtitles for you to get the written form of this and for sure practice, right? Practice. There is a very okay. good strategy that you can use with videos, right? And I'm going to share a couple of, of videos of a very good site that I have that it's called Shadowing. Esta, esta estrategia que se llama Shadowing eh, es cuando usted, por ejemplo, pone una frase, un video, algo que a usted le guste. Por ejemplo, si a usted le gusta ver series. Entonces, busca una serie uh -huh. y agarra un fragmento de la serie. Y entonces, si por ejemplo en la frase la, la persona dice, I am going back to my house right now. Entonces usted la regresa, la retrocede y trata de decirlo al mismo tiempo que el que lo está hablando. Eso se, eso se llama shadowing, que quiere, tiene que ir como sombreando lo que la persona va diciendo. Imagínense que ahí pone una, 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 un video ahorita, ¿ves? y hay como una interacción entre dos personas y le dice, Hey, how was your day? Ah, it was very difficult. Entonces usted lo regresa y comienza. Hey, how was your day? It was very difficult. Al mismo tiempo que el video. Esa técnica se llama shadowing okay. y es muy buena cuando se quiere volver a refrescar el idioma. Así que le voy a compartir. No, le voy a compartir uno de que ella lo hace y va pausándose y usted puede ir repitiendo después de ella. Y es este, una Native American speaker. Y ahí la va a ver y, y espero que le guste el, el videito. Es muy bueno, es muy interactivo y le puede servir mucho para sus mejoras en el idioma. In general, okay. Mr. Juan, I am going to sí. continue, I am going to continue including more vocabulary, more uh, practice, more uh, speaking activities for you to develop uh, your skills. You are doing a very good job. I love the way you participate all the time. So I don't have any complaint from my side. And I am going to do my best to continue helping you with anything that you need. Remember that if you need any specific type of help, you can send me a message and I will be more than glad to, to help you with whatever other thing that you might need. Okay, thank you, teacher, for thank your you. advice for me. <laughs> okay, Juan de Dios, have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Keep see. working. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.